everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're going to take a look at a 50 cal gun today. This is the 50 cal enemy. So this is the same gun as the 68 cal enemy. It's just shoots a smaller ball, and they've made some uh, minor adjustments to it to shoot the smaller paintball out of it. Uh, so you're going to get the same body, you're going to get the same valve design on the inside, which is a pneumatically controlled or a manually pneumatic uh, valve assembly. So um, rather than having an electronic solenoid that activates every time you pull the trigger to open and close or to close and open, I guess is typically the way it goes, um, you are activating the solenoid by pulling the trigger. So when you pull the trigger back, it uh, actually pushes a post up into the solenoid, which controls direction, airflow direction, which makes the gun cycle and shoot. And when you let go of the trigger, it the post drops back down and it closes the solenoid assembly. So it, it's kind of like an auto cocker in a way. It's just that they've redesigned it to to take out the slipping and the half stroking and the timing issues that you would run into with an auto cocker. So there's really no electronics, or there I shouldn't say there really, there is no electronics in this to go bad, to not work, to need a battery, any of those things, because you are controlling the gun by pulling the trigger um, in its entirety, in its full stroke system. Uh, so that's what you're getting with this. And that's the same for the 68 cal version as well. You control how the gun physically cycles by how you pull the trigger. Uh, but on the 50 cal version, a couple differences. Obviously the barrel is different. So we're gonna pull the barrel off here and I'll show you that it does have um, an adapter on it. So it's a wider, uh, I wanna call it a wider mouth really, uh, with the adapter on it. Because this body and this breech assembly right here was designed for the 68 cal version. They've modified a barrel to fit into the 68 cal version. So if I unscrew this adapter off, you can see that it is a small threaded, small ion threaded 50 cal version, but it comes with this adapter that you thread onto here, and now it's a 68 caliber version. Uh, well, 68 cal threaded, but it's still 50 cal uh, diameter inside there. So um, that leads into something, I'll get to that. Uh, same regulator right here. Remember with these regs, there's a bleed system built into the top of it. So if you get one of these guns and you play with it for a while, and you start to develop a leak that is around the top of the regulator right here, there's a little um, uh, housing inside there that holds a pressure relief valve, and there's an O-ring on the outside of it that can go bad, and that's what causes this to bleed out. Or, if you over-pressurize this regulator, it will on purpose bleed through the top so as not to damage any of the internal parts. So if you're adjusting your reg and you're cranking it and you're not really paying attention to it and you start to get a leak out of here, it's trying to tell you that you're doing something wrong and stop doing that and reset your regulator and start over. Um, if you need to, then you can then rebuild this if you can't get rid of that leak. Safety on the side right here, same ASA setup at the bottom. Um, it's all exactly like the 68 cal version, uh, except for that, obviously. There's an adapter inside the breech here. Pull that out. It's kind of like an eye pipe system that you would see in a die gun. But this modifies the original breech assembly to uh, accept the 50 cal paintball. It's got uh, new detents in there for 50 cal setup. This just drops right in and then it's held in place by the barrel. So that's in there as well. You can go ahead and take the bolt out. Right here you can see that our bolt is nice and skinny right there, set up to run 50 cal uh, 50 cal paint. Um, pretty simple bolt design. It's not too hard to understand how it works. It does unscrew so that you can get into it and do your maintenance uh, that would need to be done. Now this can be changed into a, um, what am I trying to say here? Uh, if you put the 68 cal version in, you can modify the gun to shoot 68 caliber also. That's why the breech is removable. Um, why they have the larger threaded version for the feed neck or for the uh, the barrel, why you have an adapter on the end there. So you can put a standard 68 caliber barrel on it, get rid of the, the breech adapter, put the regular size bolt in and shoot 68 caliber paint out of it. So you can shoot both ways out of this if you have the adapter kit and set it up to shoot the other way as well. Now you're also gonna get just the basic uh, parts with it. You're gonna get a barrel sleeve, uh, barrel squeegee, various Allen keys, and O-rings to do any rebuilding that you need to. 
But uh, for a 50 cal gun that is not expensive and doesn't require any batteries or anything like that to run and is a good, good gun, this is where you want to be, the, uh, the enemy. The enemies are great for 68 cal, even better for 50 cal. So check them out. They come in some uh, uh, different colors. We've got red, we've got blue, we've got white, black, green, and gray. They call it titanium. Uh, but they're all available through the website. So if you're interested in 50 cal, I think this is a great place to start. Check out the 50 cal enemies available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.